That was great. Thank you. Congratulations. Next, we honor a man who helped launch three local TV stations, two full-scale news operations, and that alone would have broken a lesser man, but not Will Givens, who will be introduced by the former vice president and general manager of KSWB. She is the founder and president of Emic International Media. I think a lot of you already know her, but I am delighted to introduce Lisa Markham. Lisa. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Ken. You know, there's a few more things I could say. <laughs> I have to tell you, I'm still, Bill, wow, what a story. What a, what a trip down memory lane, the transmitter days. That's, that's what got me. Those are, those are lonely days. So I salute you. What, that's, that's a fabulous story. But um, thank you, Ken about San Diego. Um, I am thrilled and honored to be here today because I'm here to talk about Will Givens. I think you all know Will, um, but I first want to also pay tribute to the Silver Circle, the Gold Circle, and all the past inductees. This is, this is such an incredible group. I've been in San Diego for 17 years, and I have to tell you, it still feels like family, and it always does. So what you were saying, Pat, absolutely. Um, so Will is a true die-hard TV guy, 25 years in the business. He loves it so much, he's been an integral part of this chapter since 1996. He served as vice president for two years, chapter president for four, and founding CEO of the Natus PSW Foundation. So Will, as soon as you got to San Diego, you jumped right into this organization, so he didn't waste any time. But I'm actually really looking forward to asking the Academy a very important question, and that is, please do not give this man any more Emmys. <laughs> I mean, really, seriously, Will? What do, you, what do you have now, like 800? No, how many do you have now? Less than Jane Mitchell. <laughs> Good throw, Jane. Um, yeah, I think it's like 11, so a couple of digits apart, right? But seriously, I mean 800. So I said to Will, what do you do with all of your Emmys? Because I've been to your place and I've never seen them. And what did you say to me? You said there, I moved, moved. And, and, and they're in a box in the garage, except for the three latest ones that are all on his mantle. And I'm a fan of inanimate objects and I'm thinking the way Will would say it, how would those women feel if they could express to you being in a box? <laughs> Yo, do. you worked so hard to win me. You used other people's cash, not your own. You chased me around, and as soon as you got me, you put your hand around my tiny little waist, and you strut me around, right? And then as soon as my globes got a little lower, <laughs> you put me in a box, and you brought out the three new babes. So, nice going, Gibbons. All I gotta say is, Carla, in a couple years, Stay away from cardboard. <laughs> okay, so Will, that would be you, but in the early years, let's talk about you, okay? Most of you may not know that Will um, actually went to Lutheran University, California Lutheran University on a scholarship and graduated cum laude, which is not surprising, with a bachelor's degree in communication and a passion for Catholic girls. He ran... <laughs> It, that comes later. He ran a public access station as an intern and later joined the production team there. Um, a few years later, he was hired as promotions manager for KADY TV. And that was an independent station in Santa Barbara owned by the infamous Meshulam Rickless. Anybody remember him? Married to Piazzadora? He was a famous, what we now know today as a junk bond trader and he bought the Pickford Mansion. He was 50 years old and he bought it for his 23-year-old bride. That was Will's owner. So um, they actually named their daughter after the station. So Will refers that to his tortured chapter in his life. Very interesting to work for a guy like that. In 1992, when I was general manager in Fresno, California, I hired Will as my creative services director. He was 28 years old. 
came in in a black shirt, little gold chain. He left the pinky <laughs> ring aside, I know. Um, and uh, now that station was KMPH, named after three Greek brothers, Mike, Pete, and Harry. Now we learned a lot of Greek cuss words and ate a lot of feta cheese, but we had quite the run for the next four years. Uh, we helped grow that company from a single station to a 22 station group. Uh, we were the largest privately owned broadcast group in the United States. KMPH became the dominant independent station in the country to convert to a new NANSAT network called Fox Broadcasting. Will became known as the most successful brand manager of all Fox stations, and that was including the O&Os. And back with the, in those days, it was Rupert Murdoch and Barry Diller. They came to our station, and they knew Will by name, believe me. In 1995, I was hired by the Tribune Company to build a little TV station they bought for a mere $72 million at an auction in San Diego. That station's call letters were KTTY, or better known as Kitty 69. So try saying that with a straight face at the university club when you have to go pitch that station. Um, now, I wanted Will and just a few key others to run this operation because I knew only Will could turn this into the magic that he's turned it into today. It wasn't a tough sales job asking Will to come from Fresno to San Diego, um, but the station was three miles from the salt mine, uh, just a few miles from the Mexican border, and it was actually on the salt flats. And um, when I first got keys to the station, I looked around and I said, uh, we're actually on a salt mine, aren't we? And they said, yes, and I said, um, so how is, how's the land here? And they said, well, actually the station is slipping about an inch a year into the salt mines. <laughs> so the euphemisms abounded from there about whether or not we could actually make this station successful. The station went on to be one of the most successful WB affiliates in the country and was repositioned on Cox Cable 5, thanks to Bill Geppert, and grew faster than any other affiliate, even our sister station, KTLA. Will branded that station's wheels off. Together in six years, we built a state-of-the-art facility in Kearney Mesa, erected the first HD transmitter, and broke every ratings and revenue record the Tribune set. In 2008, Tribune acquired the Fox affiliation, and within four months, Will relaunched a full HD news operation, becoming the first San Diego station to be completely HD in the market. Today, that station, quite frankly, kicks butt, thanks to Will. So Will has another garage filled with gold medallions, Addies, Tellies, Vision Awards, Fox Monument Awards, in addition to his 800 Emmys. So please, I beg you, do not give this man any more Emmys. Give someone else a chance. But I will say, no one deserves it more than Will Givens. Because I'll tell you what he's done, especially for all of you on your talent here. This is the guy that makes you look good. Because this is the guy that makes the viewers stick around. Because they see his work, they see his artistry, they see his style. They don't know who he is, but believe me, they're watching the station because Will's behind it. And so I give him all of my success because I was smart enough to hire him. So I'm so proud to be on the stage to celebrate Will's survival of the call letters and his 25 years of unparalleled success with his beautiful wife and high school sweetheart, Carla. So I give you Will Givens.